Today we're coming to you from right here in downtown Matthews. If you're tired of that big city life of Charlotte and you're yearning for that quaint, small town vibe, then Matthews is for you. So we actually did an area tour of Matthews about a year ago. It was the very first area tour I've ever done. And to say it kindly, it wasn't the best quality, wasn't the best video. You're on. Sweet. There's a town just southeast of Charlotte, North Carolina that blends old world vibe with all the convenience of a big city. Welcome to Matthews, North Carolina. Originally named Stumptown, Matthews was founded in 1879. So let's talk about real estate. This is the worst. <laughs> We've definitely come a long way from then. We have our professional videographer right here, Brody, that makes these things look fantastic. So we're here to reshoot Matthews and show you why so many people love this town. Matthews is a small town with big city amenities. And guys, I have the honor of taking you on a tour of the town I actually live in my backyard, Matthews. Today we'll touch on the history, the location, the lifestyle, some things to do, and of course, jump into some fantastic real estate available here. Let's get started. The focal point of Matthews is its historic downtown district, where a handful of turn of the century buildings have been preserved, and now are occupied by quaint shops, restaurants, and offices. 10 of those buildings were listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1996. Matthews was first settled in the 1800s, where it was a small village surrounded by farmland. Since its beginning, Matthews actually had three different names. It was first called Stumptown for all the stumps left for when the farmers cut down the trees in the surrounding areas. It was later changed to Fullwood in honor of the first postmaster that established the first post office here in Matthews, or Fullwood, or Stumptown, whatever you prefer. In 1874, the railroad came through Matthews, and in 1879, Matthews was officially incorporated, and they changed their name again to Matthews in honor of Edward Matthews, one of the local railroad directors. Once a sleepy little railroad town, downtown Matthews has really blossomed into a really super cool spot where people from all ages converge to have a great time. Matthews is consistently ranked as one of the safest places to live and one of the best places to raise a family. Matthews has so much to offer its residents while still keeping that small town vibe. When we explore why so many residents love calling Matthews home, we have to talk about the location. Just southeast of Charlotte City Center, Matthew lies between Charlotte and Monroe and gives you a fantastic location. Conveniently located 25 minutes from Charlotte City Center, many residents live in Matthews and commute to Charlotte to actually work. And residents love going to the Queen City to enjoy some great events. If they want to go catch a Charlotte Hornets game or a Carolina Panthers game, it's a quick trip down the road. And for those of you who do travel, the Charlotte International Airport is about 30 minutes away from the Matthews area. Speaking of commuting, the next proposed route for the light rail is supposed to be here in Matthews. You gotta wait a little bit though, because it's proposed to be complete in 2036 and it'll be called the Silver Line. And Highway 74, which is one of the main arteries connecting Matthews to Charlotte City Center, will eventually be stoplight free, making your commute much easier. Just gotta wait a little bit. Now Matthews does find itself within two different counties, Union County and also Mecklenburg County as well, which means depending on where you're looking in Matthews, you could find different school districts, different taxes, and also different locations. Many residents choose Union County for the lower taxes and the school districts, while others choose Mecklenburg County for the better location. Another reason why residents love calling Matthews home is the lifestyle it provides. You'll get addicted to the sense of community and family-friendly environment that you'll see all around you. And one thing my family and I love about Matthews is the walkability. Depending on where you live in Matthews, Matthews is one of the most walkable areas in the greater Charlotte area. And I'll tell you, my family and I love that about Matthews. It is so nice being able to walk or golf cart, whatever you prefer, to downtown Matthews, see all the old historic buildings, go visit some of the fantastic restaurants, and just enjoy your day. And I'll tell you, there is always something going on here in downtown Matthews. If you love festivals, then you're in the right spot. They have fantastic events all year round. There's a ton of live music and movie nights. You even have a beach fest. There's a ton of different arts and craft shows you can go attend. But I'll tell you, hands down, the biggest one every year is Matthews Alive. 
Matthews Alive is the largest Labor Day weekend festival in the Southeast. Every single year, thousands of people visit downtown Matthews for this festival. It is an awesome carnival. They have carnival rides, great food, arts and crafts. Hey guys, they even have a parade. I love parades. And they have live music as well. It's fun for the whole family. So if you do live in Matthews or you live in the surrounding area, you definitely want to go check out Matthews Alive. Do you have a passion for painting, dance, or theater? Then Matthews is the place for you. You have a lot of great opportunities to get involved and participate or go watch a fun show. You have the McDowell Arts Center that has a lot of great fine art on display. And you also have the Fullwood Theater as well where you can go enjoy a show or participate in some great classes or some summer camps for the kids. Do you have a passion for fashion? Do you love to shop? Then Matthews has a ton of great shopping spots for you. You have Windsor Square, you have Matthews Festival and Sycamore Commons, all filled with some big box retailers we all know. Like Target, Costco, Best Buy, Lowe's and Home Depot. And if you have more of an eclectic feel and you wanna to go to some more unique shops, then we have that here for you as well. You definitely gotta go check out Renfro Hardware. It's been in business for over 100 years. And you definitely have to go check out the recently opened The Brass Grasshopper, which is the coolest antique shop around. You never know what treasures await you. For those of you who love nature, like to get back to your roots, then Matthews is definitely the place for you. Matthew is actually designated the fifth bee city in the nation. And today there's still less than 50. Which means Matthews has achieved and is committed to strict ecological guidelines to create and maintain sustainable habitats for pollinators. So you know Matthews has to have some great parks and you are 100% correct. There are tons of fantastic parks that you can go visit with your family. You have Colonel Francis Beatty Park that actually doubles as a wedding venue. You have Stumptown Park right downtown. You also have Squirrel Lake Park just to name a few. Plus you have a labyrinth of different greenways and parks that connects the local communities to different parks and also to downtown Matthews. And I'll tell you, I live in a small community here called Chesney Glen, and we have a greenway that we can actually take from our house, go to the greenway, and it'll take us to downtown Matthews. So we get to have some great times with the family, maybe go get a bite to eat, and then come back to the house. And one thing residents love is all the fantastic bars and restaurants here in downtown Matthews. And guys, isn't it easy to see that Matthews loves to party? I mean, look behind me. So we're actually right outside Matthews Wine Cellar, which is a perfect place to grab a nice glass of wine. And right down the street, we actually have Seaboard Brewery, which is one of the funnest places. You're gonna always see a lot of people right outside on their huge patio. They have their own craft brews and a fantastic time for all. Let's say you're hungry for some good pizza, then you're definitely in luck. You obviously have the Charlotte Staple Pizza Pill, which is to my left. But for the best pizza here in Matthews, you wanna go check out Exchange Pizza. It's actually a satellite business on the patio of Seaboard Brewery. And I'll tell you, my wife and I have to get that pizza at least once a month. It is fantastic. If you're here, go check out Exchange Pizza. And full disclosure, I'm not sponsored by Exchange Pizza yet. Hopefully, soon, maybe. It's coming. If you're in the mood to take your spouse on a fantastic date night, you have to check out Sante's. It's a fine dining French restaurant right here in downtown. And if you're looking for some great food and some fantastic cocktails, you wanna check out the Portrait Gallery. It is an awesome spot with some fantastic ambiance throughout the restaurant. And if you're looking for a nice cup of coffee but don't wanna to go to one of those big chains, then you are in luck because we have Breakman's Coffee right here. Some fantastic coffee, a locally owned spot. You definitely wanna check it out. And for those of you who love fresh produce, then you wanna go check out the Farmer's Market, which is right here downtown, right across the street. So with this many things to do, this much activities all at your fingertips, it is so easy to see why residents absolutely love calling Matthews home. So how about schools? Now in general, Matthews is known for having really good school districts. However, we have to remember that Matthews finds itself in two different counties which means if schools are important to you, you really wanna pay attention to where specifically you're looking in Matthews, cause it could be a different school district. So in Union County, you have Weddington, Sun Valley, or Porter Ridge High School. And in Mecklenburg County, you'll have Providence, Butler, or Independence High School. So if schools are important to you, you wanna make sure you do a little bit of research to know exactly what school district you are purchasing in. And there are a lot of great private options in our surrounding community as well. So let's go ahead and talk real estate. Now, one thing I love about Matthews is the variety in real estate that you can find here. There's a huge variety in age. I mean, you can find some historic homes right here in the downtown area to some homes built in the 50s, 60s, 
80s all the way up to new construction properties as well. There's some great single family options. There's some awesome townhomes here in the downtown area and the surrounding areas as well. You also have some fantastic subdivisions, different communities, and also your luxurious communities as well. For a single family home here in Matthews, the price definitely varies from $250,000 all the way up to $2.2 million. The average price point for a single family home was $549,000. However, the average sales price for a condo or townhome is $338,000. Matthews has some fantastic communities, so let's go ahead and check out some of our favorites. Come on, guys. Welcome to Brightmoor, a charming community just outside of downtown Matthews. Guys, the location here is great. You're a short bike ride away from downtown Matthews. You're within 10 minutes from the Matthews Sportsplex, McKee Farms Shopping Center, and the Matthews YMCA. The Brightmoor community was built between the mid-1980s to the early 1990s. And what you'll find throughout this community is you'll have a little bit larger of a lot and a lot more mature trees backing up to some overgrown forests as well, giving you some more privacy than you tend to find in some of the newer communities. Brightmoor's earlier homes are a little bit more traditional with a colonial style front porch. The homes built in the later years tend to be a little bit more transitional and have a little bit more of an open floor plan. Brightmoor does have an active HOA that throws a lot of events throughout the year and keeps really good care of the common areas in the neighborhood. Also, whenever you call Brightmoor home, you'll have access to their two pools and a ton of different walking trails. Prices here in Brightmoor range from the mid 300s all the way up to the mid 500s as well. The average price point being $443,500. So if you're looking for a home, you definitely want to keep Brightmoor on your list. And there's actually going to be a link in the description below that takes you to all the active listings here in Brightmoor. However, the next neighborhood we're going to visit is one of the premier neighborhoods in Matthews. Let's go ahead and check it out. Come on. So if you are looking for newer communities as well that has a little bit more open floor plans and newer property, but possibly on a smaller lot and less mature trees, then Matthews definitely has a lot of options as well. You can go check out Eden Hall. Uh, you can go check out Fullwood Station or also Tennyson. Tennyson is a super cool community they're actually still building in right now. They're being built by Right Time Homes and they're actually a super cool modern kind of farmhouse design to them. Uh, they range from $530,000 to $660,000. Definitely want to keep that on your list if you're looking for a newer community or new construction. So right now, Brody and I are taking you to Brookhaven. It's actually a super cool neighborhood, a little bit closer to the Weddington side of Matthews but I'm super excited to show you. Stay tuned. Welcome to Brookhaven, a community started by John Whelan back in 2004. Brookhaven consists of over 500 homes. This community offers a mixture of houses ranging from your small craftsman style homes all the way up to your full brick stunners with stone custom features with fully finished third floor and basements. Residents love Brookhaven's amenities. You have a huge clubhouse, you have an aquatic park with a triple loop slide, you have tennis courts, you have playgrounds and walking trails. There's definitely something to do for the whole family. Prices range from the high 600,000s all the way up to 1.5 million. The average price point for a home here in Brookhaven is $1 million. So if you are interested in looking at property here in Brookhaven, there's gonna be a link in the description below that takes you to all the great homes available here in Brookhaven. And now you know why so many people love calling Matthews home and why so many people are flocking here to the Matthews area. It has fantastic walkability, great things to do for the entire family, and you join a sense of community. And if you are looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate here in the greater Charlotte area, myself and my team would love to be your real estate resource of choice. Feel free to give us a call, text us, email us. We'd love to help you find your next property. And if you're looking for more information on Matthews, there'll be a link in the description below that'll give you a lot more information on this area. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.